The English setter is an elegant looking pointing dog, which was once used by the British nobility for hunting feathered game. History and origin of the English setter. As early as the 16th century, the dog was known as descendant of the Perdiguero and the long-haired spaniel which originated in Spain. However, the continuous breeding of today's English setter did not take place until the beginning of the 19th century, when Edward Laverack spent more than 20 years selecting what he considered to be the most beautiful dogs of the species in order to breed his favorite dog. It is thought that the first setters Laverack bred, Ponto and Old Mole, are the ancestors of today's English setters. In 1860, Laverack exhibited the first puppies under the name English Setter. Even today, the dogs are preferred by hunters for hunting game, such as pheasants, quail and grouse. While the English Setter was very popular in the UK until the 1980s, it has since been classified as an endangered breed by the British Kennel Club. Appearance of the English Setter According to the breed standard, the height at the withers should reach between 65 to 68 cm for males and 61 to 65 cm for females. The weight, which is not fixed, ranges from 20 to 36 kilos depending on the sex. English setters reach an average age of 11 to 12 years. Its long, silky, slightly wavy coat is permitted in black and white, orange and white, brown and white or tricolored. Tricolored English setters also have tan markings on the head, paws and chest. The dogs only become fully colored around the age of one and a half to two years. With its straight back, broad loins and an oval head with a distinct stop, the English setter exudes power and elegance. The dog's close set ears are medium long and low set. The tail reaches to the hock and is carried slightly curved. Typically, an English setter will raise its nose when scenting game and crouch down with its body almost flat against the ground. It will then usually raise one paw slightly and point its nose in the direction of the game. English setters are ideal dogs to lead the hunter as well as retrieve game from water and reeds. Temperament and training of the English setter. English setters are very friendly, child-loving and gentle dogs which have a high social compatibility and loyalty. Sometimes their temperament can also be quite mischievous. Not only do the dogs have great stamina for playing, romping and running, but they also have a tremendous speed and excellent cross-country ability. In principle, an English setter is the ideal family dog that will subordinate well but only if it is given excellent training from an experienced dog owner and is given plenty of challenges to satisfy its instinct to move and hunt. Exercise and care of the English setter. English setters require a huge amount of exercise, so owners should be prepared to go on long walks and hikes with the dogs. They are just as happy to run in forests as in the high mountains or in river meadows where they love to jump into cool water. Owners should be wary of the dog's keen hunting instinct as it likes to set off on its own at high speed when it picks up a scent. English setters can suffer from hip dysplasia, elbow dysplasia and various allergies throughout their lives. According to a 2010 study, around 12% of dogs suffer from congenital deafness. Cancer is their most common cause of death. Grooming is very time-consuming, as the dogs need to be brushed daily to maintain their coat's silky sheen. Long hair on the paws and around the ear canal must also be trimmed regularly to prevent inflammation.